jump right in this freaking trough. Right, take a pic, boy. Have a selfie. <laughs> Have a selfie. Yeah, I just got home. Well, I had to do some running around. It's like a step sign. This guy calls me up, the guy with the farm animals there, he says, uh, got your number from somebody, and uh, you pick up junks, yeah. I said, uh, what do you got? So he tells me, Pontiac and uh, Honda Civic. I said, I'm not paying anything for junks right now because the uh, price is so low. You know, and uh, I mean... I know that I can make money off the cat, and I'm just gambling that they're going to have the cats on them. Um, but the price and weight of these is barely the gas money to drive. You know, it's, it's a 40-minute ride to get each one. So I tell them, you know, no, I, I really, you know, can't pay anything for them right now uh, until the price goes back up. And he says, No, no, I don't want nothing for them. You know, I just want to get them out of the yard and they're in the way and, you know, one's got a transmission problem and the other is uh, shifting a cable or something like that. So, he said, I just, I don't care. I'd just be happy to get them out of here before, uh, before we get too much more snow and stuff. So, I said, okay, I'll come get them. And, uh... I haven't looked under this Honda yet, but uh, the Pontiac Grand Am I already got. That has the uh, cat on it, so that works out pretty good. Um, so I get the uh, Pontiac first, and then I uh, headed back for the Honda. So. Uh, get it pulled out. He helps me and uh, pull it out of the spot. Get it winched on the uh, trailer and stuff. <coughs> so we're shooting the shit and everything, and you know, 
guy seems like a pretty cool guy, joking around about stuff, and then all of a sudden, just the face just goes to straight. He says, "Oh, you got you got any cash?" And I kind of laughed and thought he was joking. And I said, "No." He said, "Oh, you got any cash for these cars?" And I said, "Uh, no. I told you I'm not." Oh. Oh, I mean, uh, I thought you said, you know, they, they weren't they weren't paying a lot, so, you know, you weren't. I said, oh, I told you, I said I wasn't paying anything. And uh, he says, oh, uh, I guess I misunderstood. I said, uh, I said I'm sorry if, it, if you misunderstood. I said, but you, you told me straight up on the phone that you didn't want anything for the cars. You just wanted them gone. Don't you remember saying that? And uh, be honest with you, I think he uh, he said he had to take a ride into town. I think he went to the uh, stop at the liquor store because he could smell it. But nothing wrong with that. I think he, uh, I don't know. I don't know whether he was just trying his hardest to get something. But I said, I said no. I said, I can't. I said, I told you I couldn't pay anything. So uh, change the subject and... You know, we were, you know, talking about other stuff, and it's kind of weird, but I went to leave, and he said, you know, he said, oh, no hard feelings or anything, you know, I said, oh, I'm sorry if you misunderstood again, and I said, but, you know, that's, uh, that was the understanding we were at, so, once in a while, something weird like that happens, but, uh, out here towing with the GMC, pretty nice. It's uh, lacking in the uh, rear spring department, but if you position it just right on the trailer, you uh, you know, it's pretty good, but those rear springs are uh, flattened right out. So, good thing I was uh, using this. The, uh, the little road there I had to go to get these was... Uh, the sign said this this road is maintained by the landowners uh, so they don't even plow it or anything I had to actually put it in four-wheel drive to get in there um, not a lot of tread on these tires anyway so uh, but hey replace the transfer case myself and the four-wheel drive works so I'm pretty happy about that and uh, like I said, won't make much off the weight on these, but I'm going to get these cats off of there. Uh, that way I can make a little profit and see if there's any good parts.